Guys, we're here at the NEC Installer Show in 2023. So what do you think, Dale? It's amazing time we've come up. What we're going to do today is we're going to put the carpentry tools down behind us because as, as much as we like to think our job's nice and technical, wood in, in terms of a technical capacity has its limits. So we're going to have a wander around this show. We're going to have a look at all of these wonderful new innovations. We're going to have a look and see, you know, there's lots of energy saving, new technology that's coming up. So we're going to have a look at that and have a look and see what sort of savings that these people, these guys, these uh, manufacturers can claim we can get off this new technology. Yeah, I mean, I think it's, it's amazing. It's very true what Dale's saying. Some of the products that are out there now in 2023, they're going to save the consumers a huge amount of money on the utilities. So that's one thing we're going to be bringing to you in this YouTube video. I wanted to check out Sheldon at the Ambient Underfloor Heating because these guys are really ahead of the game and they've actually come up with this new product and it's called an actuator which uses AI. Yeah, Ambi Ego. This is the um, this is our, our new release to the show. Um, what this does, it's got three cables at the back. One is the main um, live cable from the thermostat and the, uh, the other two these clip onto the flow and return pipe of the um, of that loop yeah, that it's okay. controlling. So what this does is that it's measuring the flow temperature, the return temperature, that gives it a delta T. Yeah, okay. So based on the flow temperature, that will then control the delta T for that loop. Wow. So however the manifold is set up, um, when that thermostat turns on, that specific loop will get the right flow and yeah. the right return, and this head, yeah. is the, the AI in this head will control that and automate. So basically that's using AI to control then all the relevant delta coming then through the box, that's right. which then regulates the temperature as other ones close down. Exactly that. That is really exactly going to save the consumer a lot of money because of obviously, as we all know, the actuators that are there, they don't have that kind of control. So what made you come up with this idea using AI? It's the second biggest reason for cool outs. Yeah. It's the second biggest problem yeah. for unplugging. So there's a couple other things in it. Um, you can manually open and close it. That's, oh, that's really for an really installer, good. that's good. That's, that's very helpful. Good. Normally yeah. you have to unscrew it. Normally you have to unscrew it, then put a cap on it, to close yeah. it off, which is an absolute yeah. nightmare. So that's that's a great idea. Though. A few other little hacks. It's got a, it's got a light on the back. Yeah. Um, so one one issue with actuators often they're not screwed on tight enough. Yeah. That leads to heat creep. Yeah. Again, not good for running for running costs. Um, if this isn't installed properly and it's not screwed on tight enough, this will flash orange. Ah, oh, brilliant. Um, another risk with underfloor heating is that if the floor is exposed to high temperature water, yeah. So this the uh, the flow sensor will detect if the flow is um, is going above 60 degrees yeah, gotcha. and this will close down. Brilliant, that's so really good. So it the floor, it's like a power, so, so if something had failed upstream and the system was exposed to high temperature yeah. water, that would protect it. And anybody who's got an um, underfloor heating at the moment, you can actually fit these straight on, they're all sort of yeah, the same universal. connection, universal fitting. It is. It that's is. really, really good. So this will work particularly well in the refurb market. If you think about refurb, we're dealing with quite a few unknowns. Yes. Yeah. Now, this, this is where this is good because it learns the environment. Yeah. So when we're dealing with unknowns and it's difficult to design to the nth degree, yeah, it is. this will actually learn it. Wow. That's so, so cool. 
I like Good that. one for refab. For me, this is going to solve so many issues with clients going in, changing the valves, doing this, doing yeah. the pump back, and honestly, where as you put those yeah, on, true. you know, it's yeah. done, it's sorted, it, 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 it's, it's there. Yeah. I think it's it's Sheldon, yeah. that's a great, and thank exactly. you very much. And Cheers to the opportunity. Great, yeah. excellent, it's brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely you. check out these guys, definitely. Uh, we've used them quite a few times, and this product is absolutely brilliant. So. He's on the soil over there representing Snug. You may know him, his name's Mark Tiff, MJ Tiff, real plumbing. Yeah, he's, he's, great a, guy, he? he's a really good guy, a uh, fellow YouTuber as well, he so I think we're going to have to YouTuber. beat a path over. Yes, so we're going to go and say hello. Surprising. Here, Here he is, the main man. Hey. He's got a coffee on the game. How are you, boys? Yeah, right? nice to see you, buddy. Really nice I think he's solar show. It's really, really cool because you make really, really cool people like Mark, and he's got an amazing YouTube. Definitely check out Mark's uh, channel because it's absolutely brilliant. So, how do you find him, mate? How is it getting on? Mega. In store, for me, in solar show, you know, for our trade, for the brewing eating the game, yeah. it's just the show of the year. Everyone, yeah. The buzz around this is just mega. You know, what we seem to find with the, the plumbing and heating industry on the socials, everyone just, yeah. the vibe and the buzz around it's it. It's definitely busy. And, mate, it's you know mega. I, I don't know if you noticed, but I've noticed the plumbing like digital network now is really growing, isn't yeah. it, mate? You know, it's like, it's, I would say it's up there with the brickies now, isn't it? It's got to be above the brickies. Oh, <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> the cameras are really flagging, aren't yeah. they? You know? <laughs> How long have you been representing Snug now, mate? So Snug yeah. came on board with me really early doors. I was probably I was good, didn't they? yeah, I was probably six, seven months in. Yeah, and I don't know four or five thousand subscribers. And Snug, Snug came to me and, and said, well, you know, would you be willing to have a look at our products? And at the time, I wasn't doing much on the floor, so yeah. I said, right, come to me, send me your stuff, let me have a look at it. But I can't. Can't give an honest opinion until I've used it. So anyway, luckily for me, a job come in an underfloor heating job um, because I'm not going to promote something that I haven't used. No, that I've got. 100%. You know, I think that's really key, mate. Yeah. People have to understand that it's like we never, all of us, you know, don't promote stuff that isn't any good. You know, you've, you've got to because you lose your credibility instantly. Yeah. We did a little bit together, and then ever since then, they're just great. They're just a great company, family-run company. They come to me every year, will I do installer with them? I've literally earmarked the next. However many installers they're going to do, I'm going to do with them. Because, you know, they've supported me, I've supported them, I fit their stuff, it's great stuff. Can we see this stuff on your channel, Mark? Yeah, it's yeah, all on my excellent. channel. Cool. I think one of the big builds I did last year, I put two mile of underfloor eating, snug ah, underfloor eating pipes, in nice. a big barn renovation yes. in Snitterfield. <laughs> but you, you send the designs off on a little yeah, scrap yeah. bit of paper, and yeah. they'll get the design back. Or you give them the architect's drawing, yeah. within 48 hours they'll turn around Around, get to you the, the plans and um, once it's signed off they'll give you the schematics That's and then you go from there. That's so there you go so if, if underfloor heating is what you're after you can literally check out uh, Mark's channel. Yeah, yeah. I've got, there's, there's a few videos on there. And you can see it in action so yeah, see you know, me laying it, than that. filling it, pressure testing it, commissioning it, everything. I've got various you know two three parters of installing it, you know commissioning it, signing it off and all that. But yeah really great products and proud to work with them. I'd never ever thought you'd be on a stand working with companies. It's just great. I love it. Yeah. You know, really do love it. Right, so definitely get onto my channel, subscribe. Get to 30k. Yeah. Get to 30k. Or 40 yeah. or 50 or 60. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
so it was just absolutely amazing but uh, the one thing I do want to do is I just want to check out the Obi-Wan because obviously you know guys we're massively into the Obi-Wan products we're really really cool and uh, what I do want to do is just uh, introduce to Marty who's one of the main players in uh, Obi-Wan and he's going to explain about the new diamond product they've got out it's an absolute brilliant so Marty tell us about it how you doing good to are see you, you. Good to see it. are you having a good show I'm having a good show yes having a good show yes what we have here is Obi-Wan Diamond. It's an advanced technology within yeah. the, the supply of clear sealants and adhesives in the market. The market has been crying out for this type of clear sealant and we are very unique in delivering it to the market. Yeah. So can I say, Marty, obviously uh, we, we're all in the trade and we use these kind of sealants. Yeah. Um, obviously there is clear sealants out there already. So I noticed that you said that you've got this sort of new hybrid technology. Why is this new and what have you done? <laughs> well, what's new about it is that the UV stability yeah. within the hybrid systems, because of their nature to tone down a little bit due to low light and external applications, this will not do it. Okay, the technology in this here has been redesigned for it to stay stable and clear throughout its lifespan. Brilliant. Yeah. And there's, so there's no other project out there that will do that? The other thing about it is its specification yeah. is very, very high. It's classified for external use, yeah. which other, other clear sealants aren't. Yeah. This is external and internal use and specified in accordance to the standards for them applications. Sounds brilliant. So this does many, many things, obviously being clear, if you have got a specific application for a clear sealant, but also it does everything that all your other sealants and adhesives do as well, isn't it? So Absolutely. It, technically, if you only wanted to have one, you could have this one, it would cover a lot of bases. And I don't get that excited about sealants and adhesives <laughs> in general. I really What's don't. The with you, Come on. But, but this, 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 this particular one here when, it, excited when it, it arrived I was doing cartwheels <laughs> you know what I mean? so it's a very 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 unique yeah. product and in terms of consistency Marty I know you've got one open yeah. there can you run a bit out for us so we can yeah. have a look at it typical of the hybrids they're very very smooth in their application no, they nearly come out of the, the carcass in a yeah. finished state. Okay. It's come out nice and evenly as well, hasn't yes, it? You know? it's very, they're very fluent. But I think it's one of those things that, and I'm sure you know, guys that are watching that use these kind of sealants and adhesives, yeah. it, it's one of the things that no one really sort of talks about. They talk about their strength and whether they yeah. can work underwater, but actually, what do they actually come out of the gun like? And I, I've used many sealants that I thought, it's a great bit of kit and it's doing the job, but it's, it's, it doesn't comes out horrible yeah. or skins up too quick so the, I think the sort of consistency and the viscosity is really really important yeah. very important I've been working with the formula for some 20 plus years now yeah. and what I do find is with your eyes actually closed right and somebody if somebody put different products in my hand with a mask over my face I know that which one is because of the consistency of it. Because at the end of the day, you want to buy a product that's going to do the job yeah. and you can walk away with it and not even have any problems. And that's what this does, doesn't it, really? Absolutely. That extra few quid a tube yeah. will pale into insignificance yeah. when you get called back yeah. to do the job because the cheaper product you use has failed. It's a false economy. Yeah. Yeah. But if you, if you look at this here, right, so there, there's quite a, a heavy blob of, of clear sealing, right? Yeah. In general, what you do with a clear sealing, if you've done that, the most of them will be either already turning a little bit green or they'll be a little little bit blue, right? Yeah. Look at the clarity. Yeah. Very, you very can see clear. right through yeah, that. Yeah, you can, yeah, yeah. That's incredible, that is. It's, it's, it's very unique. Yeah. Thank Marty. Thank you for your time. It's been a pleasure. Yeah. It's been great it's to work you. Yeah. But we're going to loop round and have a and carry on looking around, but thanks a lot. Take yeah, care. cheers Marty. Thank you. and I don't know if you've ever seen the big wipes, but they're absolutely an amazing product. So Dom's just going to do a load of demonstrations for me and Dal. So take us through, Absolutely, Dom. no worries, guys. Take a look at this, yeah. We've got some carbon black silicone. Oh, oh no, we do. Widely regarded as one of the worst things you can get with your hands, your tools, yeah. and your surfaces. So we'll work that in there, nice like that. We'll up the ante a little bit. We'll add a little bit of high gloss, Dulux, oil base. We'll have a little bit of graphite in there as well. That's crazy. And we'll have a little bit of general. I'll come back to that in a minute. Heavy 
Oh, you can wise. smell it. You can no, smell you all the chemicals, yeah. can't you? Yellow like tub, it. red lid, blue fabric, textured side, onto the area you're looking to clean. You'll see the minute that hits my hand, yeah. you'll be able to see that going in there and lifting that away without even any effort. With big wipes, it's not a case of how will it come off, it's a case of how quickly. And even after a few seconds, we're already looking really, really good. Look at that. Normally, you guys would throw that away now, wouldn't you? Yeah. But with big wipes, when you buy one hand, you tend to get the second hand free without even trying. I said you buy one, you get one free. But we can keep going. We can keep going on here. And look at that. That's all finished. But I wouldn't leave a client's house like that. So we'll bring in the multi-surface as well. Pop them out like so, and you'll see how much that leaves just on the surface there. That's amazing, isn't it? Yes. Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm loving that. I'm loving that. That is absolutely amazing. Really. So, Tony, what do you know about electric vehicle charging points? Do you know, the thing is, I know nothing. Because there's lots of them here. There is lots of them here, and there's definitely something I want to do. I want to talk to a couple of different companies because there's a lot out there now, as we yeah. know. And I am actually now starting to think, am I going to start to go electric in my vans? Yeah, something I want to do. Start thinking about. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, let's go let's keep our eyes open for that, yeah, shall yeah, we? Let's do that, yeah. We're going to talk to Gary about the EVEC car charging point. So tell us about it, Gary. Yeah, so um, here at EVEC, we've got a domestic and a commercial range. Yeah. Uh, we've got wall mounted and floor standing. On the wall mounted versions, they come with a socket and a tethered lead. And we've also just launched a new one, which has a tethered lead and the socket on. So it's the UK's first tethered slash socket dual charger. Have you got a sample of that? Yeah, it's just around the corners. And what this is really aimed at is domestically or commercial, if you've got sort of his and hers vehicles at home, yours and a partner's car, you can plug them both in and then you can, because it's all load managed and smart application managed, you can plug them in, go about your evening and if there's not enough power available at say 5, 6, 7 o'clock because you're running other appliances things like that, it'll down rate to only give a certain amount of charge and then when you sort of go off to bed at night, it'll then put itself back up and give you a full charge in that way. It really is a smart like, module. Um, this is yeah. all app based as well? Or all app based, yeah. yeah. You can look at your usage, set schedule charging for uh, special tariffs as well yeah. through the night and things like that. And even turn them on and off as well, so yeah. So nobody else is doing this at all? No, this is the first one in the UK, yeah. yeah. But this dual one, this is this is launched yesterday, so wow. this is a brand new thing. This is a bit of an exclusive. So we need yeah. to keep it yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 yes, exactly, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. in the show so far and obviously we've covered quite a lot of electrical stuff at the moment haven't we? Yeah. and the one thing I just do want to do is chat to these guys because they've got quite a few very clever products that bolt on to solar panels when you put them onto your roof so should we go and have a chat yeah yeah us? let's have a look at that time hey Russ how you go man good to see you Thank you yeah good to see you so Russ tell us about the new products on the on the range now yeah sure so uh, this is our Libby uh, inverter yeah. battery storage yeah. well, it's a modular battery system yeah. So you've got two uh, inverter sizes, 3.68 yeah. for a 5 kilowatt. Yeah. Battery-wise, they're 5 kilowatt increments up to 20 kilowatt. Yeah. So I guess the key to it is if a customer has got a 5 kilowatt storage but they need to add more at a later date, you can add to this, for instance, another 5 kilowatt, 10 kilowatt, 15, up to a 20 kilowatt so storage. So you can just literally interlink them all? Make yeah, so it would be stackable. So as you yeah. see it here, that's a 5 kilowatt system yeah. another battery would be stackable underneath yeah. and then two more by the side what do you think uh, yeah I mean it's absolutely something I'm really interested in as I said to you I'm thinking I've got quite a big uh, roof that I'm putting on a building um, hopefully we're going to find uh, solar panels that actually uh, you put on a roof instead of the roof covering but again 
uh, it's all going well when the sun's shining in the day, all that power's being fed back into the grid, but obviously you're losing it as soon as the sun goes down. So something like this, really, really sort of interesting. Um, it looks a really nice, neat unit, doesn't it? It does, it looks a lovely, neat unit, doesn't it? And um, I like, this is all obviously just one of the projects that you do though, isn't it? Obviously this is a new launch. Yeah, this ties in with the whole My Energy ecosystem, yeah. which is really what we set out to do, is to give control uh, over your renewable energy coming into your home uh, and sight of it for the end user. Yeah. Installers love it because it's all easy to install, uh, but then yeah, it's obviously really uh, reliable products as well uh, for the end user, like I said, to give sight through one app which is on the screen over there. This is a, a live system at the moment. As you can see, uh, you've got the solar element uh, coming in, so we've got 4.3 kilowatts being drawn by the sun at the moment. Um, and only 0.2 coming in from the grid. So right now, this particular home is working on 95% green energy. Wow. So, yeah, a great figure. I've just, just changed to 100% green energy. Uh, you can see that uh, there's a little bit of usage going out to the actual home at the minute in 1.1 kilowatts. But then all of these products are the My Energy products that have been added, and these are in, are in order of priority uh, set by the end user. So, uh, Libby, battery storage, obviously, is 2.3 kilowatt charging that at the moment. We've got uh, the Eddy product, which diverts into hot water or to underfloor heating. And then we've got the Zappi car charger as well, which is obviously one of our products uh, on, on display today. Zappi comes uh, as a tethered unit, untethered, uh, 7 or 22 kilowatt if you're lucky enough to have three phase. Wow. And this is, a, this, is a, this is an installation, is it? This is live, this is an installation, uh, one of our directors' homes. But to have 100% renewable energy into a home is, is, is great. I, I think this is great. I love the concept. As you say, it's like the Apple iPhone, isn't it? Or Apple, yeah. You just buy all the bits and exactly. you know, the hot water on the underfloor. That's really great. Like this, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, it's brilliant, Ross. Thanks for your time, mate. Great and show. also quite impressive. Look, yeah. look, have a look at this look, guys. Yeah, yeah. Look at this look. He's a tall, oh my mate. god! He's a tall fella. <laughs> he's a hulk of a man. <laughs>
it's a nearly concourse condition wow. and it was absolutely beautiful so so what do you think i mean this is an it's, electric I mean, land Rover. i mean it's yeah, pretty cool isn't it it's, it's a defender isn't it yes this is a defender isn't it absolutely amazing i mean i i love they're sort of iconic aren't they? i know i shouldn't yeah. say it but you know no, being, they are being iconic. British and, they're, they are. and they're iconic and of course they don't make them anymore do they um uh, the defender like this so but yeah i mean it's as simple as it gets isn't it you can't really get excited about that can you well mate? i don't know is that the is that the engine or is that the battery that's it mind you look can you imagine any land rover defender 450 brake there you go tone do you think your old series 2 did 0 to 60 in 3.8 seconds what was that yeah. like a petrol was it or diesel yeah. was it? I, it was the six pot i was was it is yeah. that a petrol six or diesel it used to bubble away did it yeah I see it's got the all-terrain tyres on it as well, mate. I can see it's a bit of U-tone, this, isn't it? Yeah, it's definitely a bit me, mate. I dread to think how much it is, though. No. Yeah, a lot of money. And yeah. defend, again, because they're not making it anymore, no. defend, this shape Defender actually starts to go up in money. So, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, be like appreciating that. You see the hinges and that? Yeah. Absolutely cool, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Although, again, from a security standpoint, Tony, oh, yeah, yeah, easy yeah. way to break into any Defender <laughs> is just yeah. a Phillips screwdriver. That's just it. take the door off. <laughs> So we've uh, been talking about the electric Defender, uh, but now let's back down to reality. Yeah, bring it up to 2023. Yeah, let's yeah, let's see we're, what we're looking we're, at. We're looking now, I can see right in front of me, is a Ford all-electric. Transit. Transit. Yeah. Now, have you thought about going down the electric route? I mean, mate? I've followed a few people that have gone down yeah. the electric route, and whether or not it's uh, at the right stage for sort yeah. of tradesmen jobbing around, yeah. four or 500 kilos of kit on the back, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, the range is always an issue, isn't it? I know it's something that we need to be thinking about, and yeah, you know, whether or not electric's a future or hydrogen cells, I don't know, yeah. but electric's where the, the most noise is coming from at the minute, so yeah, I think we should have a little look at this. Yeah. I suspect okay. the back end's going to be very familiar, very, Tony, yeah, yeah. and we'll have a look at what the figures say. One of the things I've just found out, Dal, yeah. is this is exactly the same size as their combustible engines. Right. So basically, exactly, and also they do this in a high roof as well. Right, gotcha. So yeah, I think it's really key. Look at this, Tony. As it, oh my God, it's got an iPad. Look at that. That's pretty swish, that is, isn't it, mate? Isn't it? Yeah. I love this. This yeah. is really nice. So I think... This is nicer than my Merc, mate. Is it? It is. You keep your Merc nice and tidy, though, don't you? No, yeah, I do, but honestly, I think I might jump ship next you reckon? time. Yeah, Ford. I do. It's, I've got to go, say, guys, Ford are massively up their game. This is a great vehicle. Yeah. It's a great vehicle. Yeah. I'd be interested in how many miles it does yeah. uh, on the full charge, how long it takes to charge. Yeah. And it's got some power, look. Yeah. 184 PS. That is quick, isn't Talk. it? How many about, miles? About the range. No. Range. No range on it. What's the range? Up to 196. 196? Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah. Because the Defender was 170, was yeah. it? 170? Yeah, so we've got 100, this is 196. 196 miles. And yeah. how long is the charge? Right. So a full charge. Yeah. Is that a, a like a fast charge, is it? So fast charge, 45 minutes, that's not bad. No, it's not bad at all. I mean if you like kind of where all of our works, always local. local. It's Excellent pretty cool. Time. Well there you go, mate. Put it on the shopping list. <laughs> <laughs> hey, gonna win the lottery first. Yeah. <laughs> Here we are, and actually I'm uh, in the market for a new shower. So what we've done is we've uh, we swung past the Myra shower stand here at the Installer Show, and we've come to have a word with uh, Ben, who's going to talk us through uh, the latest uh, Myra form showers that uh, Myra have come out with. So Ben, uh, tell us a little bit about your shower and sort of what makes it sort of unique or what's new about it uh, in comparison to maybe other showers on the market. That'd be my pleasure. So Myra form is solely designed to be an easy fit, multi fit shower. So there's adjustment for showers from 150 pounds centers all the way down to 110 in a very easy sliding mechanism we've got two different aspects of nut and olive so if you've got long pipe coming out the wall you can use one or if there's only a short bit of pipe you can use the other you can change the cover caps over the top to replace those we've also got a built-in filter system so for those of you living in hard water areas yeah. should you get filtered up you can just unplug that take that out clean it and put it back and in ben, this is all this is all accessible once it's installed isn't it all accessible yeah. everything is front of wall so that's we just have really a cover really good. Thank you very much. So it's everything completely is, serviceable. Exactly yeah. that. Yeah. So just take that off. 
off. So just just quickly, I mean, uh, again, something that I think is absolutely amazing, and, and uh, I'm sure that if there's guys watching this in in the sort of trade, they'll understand. You've got this adjustability. So where you know you say to the plumber, you know, bring the bring the tails out. At, what is it, 150, 160? If they're a little bit out, well, maybe the tile has mooched them over a bit or something. You know, that's absolutely amazing that you can slide that in and out, and obviously you can either go sort of vertically or horizontally. It's, it's only rear rear fed. Yeah, so it's just brilliant. And there's also a little bit of lateral movement. Look at just that. In case the pipes are. I mean, no, yeah, that's well. really really that's cool, isn't it? Exactly. So really good from a sort of installation sort of point of view. If if if, if things have moved very slightly, there's not so much of a problem, is it? Not very much so. It's, it's definitely a problem solver out there. And in yeah. terms of that maintenance piece, you can also unscrew the whole of the front cartridge, take that out as one unit, and put it in should you need yeah, to. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. And then you've also got. For the riser rail, when that goes into a dual outlet, a telescopic version of it. So that just pops up, and then you can move that up and down Look at depending that. on where you want the type of sketching to. So on. basically, if you've got another shower that you want to replace, put this in. That will basically go to those Get the fixing holes. rows over the holes. Exactly that. Exactly that. So yes. we, I mean, we all love the holes with the mastic in, in the shower, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> And you've got one on. This is that one over here, isn't it? This is one previously installed. So we've got the dual outlet on display here. So this is the dual in. So it's a concentric mixer valve. So the controls on the front. It's temperature and pressure. Yeah. This is the diverter between the handset and the overhead. Yeah. You've got a four mode handset, which just clicks easily through there, and a nice big 250 shower head to give you a great drench head experience. Yeah. That's that's absolutely brilliant. Very nice. Just clicker. Depending on how high you want that to go up. I think it's just you know I know that if you're doing a new build perhaps you couldn't have a shower system that's more sort of integrated into the wall but certainly there's there's nothing sort of offensive about you know that you can clean it and that. you can get to it it's can't you like, it's fully serviceable yeah okay. definitely if you're like you know to get to everything to what you need to do to disconnect just to change the pills to i think especially in hard water because i live in a hard water area yeah and that's just absolutely brilliant and this is specifically for gravity fed systems or can this work with a pump system or it will go down to 0.1 bar right, so it's okay. for low pressure systems and it'll go all the way out to high pressure systems so that's most nice. minor showers work across any pressure systems really that's absolutely system. brilliant that's well listen that's absolutely fantastic uh, ben i really appreciate yeah. your time on that pleasure. mate and Nothing it's been great to talk to you pleasure Ciao. I wanted to check in at the Triton shower because I had a little bit of a rumour there was a new shower on the market and it's electric. So Nathan's just going to go through it with us. Okay, so what we want to do, we want to uh, like renew the, the electric shower because it's yeah. a normal white box on the wall. Yeah. So what we've done, we've brought out a new initiative right. So we've either got uh, a loft model or an airing covered model. So in here, so we've got, this is a traditional thermostatic electric shower. So we've got the normal heat can, so it needs to be mounted like a shower. Yeah. Uh, so we've got the, the cold feed in and then the blended feed out. Yeah. So we've got a telephone cable here. So we looked at Bluetooth and wireless, yeah. but the thing is about installing the shower, if you want to install a shower, get paid and not go back. Yes. So we kept away with that, so we kept everything hardwired. Yes, good idea. So we've got 10 meter cable running from here and it comes to a new unit. So in the shower, all you will see is this unit here. Wow, it's, I tell you what, it's really clean as well looking, isn't yeah. it? It's beautiful. And also as well, so when the, the new on suites, so you've got 700 by 700 cubicle. Yeah. You haven't got enough room. Yeah. So hence the reason why we've developed like, the, these as well. So you've got more room within that small enclosure. That's beautiful. Place. So with this as well, so it's all touch screen. So you have six different user settings on it. We've also got an eco mode as well, so this one's set for six minutes. Yeah. If you want to change it to a drop a minute, you can drop it down by doing that. It's like the few days that we have 38 to 40 degree heat as well. If you want a, a cold shower without mucking around with the settings, just press the frost button and that drops it down to 20 degrees so you can have a cooler shower. So you just literally just press the buttons to change it. Also you've got six different profile settings as well for users. Wow. So this is like for user one. So this is set for that zero to time. Yeah. And also, so if we wanted it at 38 degrees, we wanted to go for seven minutes. Yeah. So we do that. If we've got anyone with dementia or, or vulnerable, you can set it for four minutes, down to two minutes. Because That's really good, mate. Just, just in case someone calls on the door, they go downstairs, they forget that they've, they've run the shower. So we've got this as well. Also, the features within this is that you can set um, how much you pay for your electric, how much you pay for your water. So when you end your shower, it 
comes up with how long you've been in the shower, how much it's cost you for the shower, and the litre is of how much water you've used in the shower. So if my kids want to spend too long in the shower, <laughs> afterwards I can say you owe me this much money, can't oh, I? Absolutely. This works perfectly well with everyone except yeah. for my 13 year old son. For yeah. the first time <laughs> he'll be in there until he spends about a grand and then he's banned from that room. One thing I love about it, Nathan, is just like you would not think this is an electric shower. I, I, I think absolutely. that's the thing. You that's think that's electric shower really. and you start with that box on the wall yeah. and everything comes me. off that. Exactly. Can't say yeah. to me, oh no, turn on an electric shower because it's going to end up looking ugly. But this is absolutely and all you need is somewhere to put either the airing cupboard heater, would you yeah. want the heater module or whatever, yeah. or a loft, you know, a loft. So when you look at a normal electric shower, you're ranging from £99 to £199, and then digital, which is like £800. So we're pitching this about £400 mark. So, so people can have the features. This is amazing. So people can have the, the features of a digital shower within it, but it's an electric thermostat shower. Yeah, that's crazy, isn't it? Honestly, Nathan, I'm not absolutely blown away. Yeah. In fact, when I come to the end of this, this is going to be the. Yeah. I, I actually think. It's yeah, because it, it, it seems like it's really this like up the whole electric. This is very close but this is actually superseded. It's best. It, it's up to the whole yeah. standard of really game of electric showers. This has been top secret for a very long time. Yeah. yeah. So yesterday we were very proud of. For the first time, and let the world know about the new electric shower. Well, listen, it's, uh, we, we, it's amazing, isn't it, Tony? We'll definitely have some more to say about this. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you Nathan. Another great job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Cheers. So guys, we're here on the Impy stand and this is one of the stands that I wanted to get to today because we use Impy a lot within our construction company and it's a great, great product and I've been able to hook up with Sean and he's going to talk about the product and how easy it is to fit. I mean, that's the biggest thing for us is the ease and versatility of, of fitting this system. So thanks for taking the time, Sean. Yeah, no talk problem. Talk us through about it, mate. The, um, so some of the systems you got in place here, this is the linear one that we fit a lot, actually. Yeah, this is the linear two-way. What you're yeah. looking at is a schematic version of it. Yeah. Um, the bottom bit, you can see where the former is. The former is yeah. 22 mil thick, um, and it's got a one in 40 gradient that takes 40 liters of water away to the drain. Next layer is our water guard tanking membrane, which is self-adhesive. Yeah. It's got built-in decoupling properties. Um, very, very quick, very clean to fit with yeah. um, you know no wet trade on there at all. Um, we always insist on, on underfloor heating in there because it gives it a really nice yeah. finish, but also um, it gives it a bit of longevity. It reduces the chance of mold spots and things like that in yeah. there, um, but it also dries it out for the next person who wants to come in. Yeah, um, yeah. Obviously, beautiful tiles, whatever tiles you like. This two-way former allows you to be able to uh, brick bond tiles or put tiles on without having to cut yeah. the diagonal cuts in it, which some people don't like, some people do. Um, and in there you see a tiled insert, which, uh, which means you can finish it off and, and almost disguise that that's drain. Why I love this is because you can put this tile insert into here and it looks really seamless and neat and clean and tidy doesn't it you know yeah, it's just, it's... I, I think of all the systems we use and we use different systems we always come back to MP it's just a great great product you know it's, it's luxurious but it's also future proof in the yeah, bathroom as well because yeah, yeah. you know people aren't getting any younger some people need this for pract practical reasons um, so if you've got someone who's got a wheelchair or a walking frame that needs to get in something that's big enough for them to yeah. be able to use um, comfortably and keep a bit of dignity to be able to show themselves and we've got that for that as well yeah. so and then over here obviously you've got different sort of makeups for different versions then as well haven't you so yeah it's horses for courses really uh, this one uh, is called aqua grade we also do a linear version of this as well yeah um, so this one um, is a frame uh, so basically you build the frame whatever size you like we've got a very small one here so we can put it on the countertop and then you backfill it with a dry mix screed yeah. um, and let it go off and basically you're creating a one in 40 gradient into a screed yeah. which, which is a very difficult job to do by yeah, hand, by the, eye. We've fitted a few of these over the years. Really, really great product. Sean, thank you very much for your time. My it's pleasure. Really great, great, great product. So. If you're interested in, uh, if you're interested in fitting these products, we do online training. Um, go on the website, and you can get on there. We do it once a month. It's called We Are Wetlands. That's brilliant. Awesome. Thank you, Sean. Thank pleasure. You. So 
guys, here we are. It's coming to the close of this uh, our day here on the 2023 uh, installer show. Uh, we've been uh, along for the ride with Obi Wan. Here's Marty. Uh, I'd like to thank Obi Wan for having us along. Um, they are doing uh, a, a great job in supporting the youth of the day. Uh, they've got um, they support the, the man sheds up and down the UK, and they're also supporting the youth sheds. Uh, Tony can explain a little yeah, bit more about that. Now there's 620 man sheds across the whole of the UK, and now they're starting to open some youth sheds and uh, Marty and Obi-Wan are massively involved with that and I can't thank them enough uh, for inviting us here, both me and Dal, and obviously getting involved with the uh, youth sheds as well. To do, so thank you very much, Marty. Yeah, it's really, really good. Thank you very much, Marty. How's your show been today, Marty? It's been excellent uh, for us. So the, the last two days has been excellent. The feedback uh, that, we're, that we're getting and receiving is just absolutely perfect. Uh, and to have you two guys on board is, is a bit special. We've teamed up and we move this whole episode forward. So we're yeah, it's great. really looking really forward good. to it. Yeah. And Tony, in terms of what we've seen around the show, what's sort of been the so, highlight for you today? Uh, the highlight for me, obviously, the Obi Wan Diamonds is absolutely a brilliant product. I mean, just absolutely spectacular. Definitely check out the links down below. But I think the uh, other highlight is going to be the Triton shower. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's just uh, an electric shower that looks actually like a, uh, a shower that's built into all, you know, gravity fed system. So, yeah, so absolutely brilliant. Uh, how about you, Dan? Well, it's funny you should say that. I mean, obviously, I said earlier, jokingly, that, you know, we have to put our, put our woodworking tools down for the day, and it's sort of, it's it's, it's maybe a different altitude for me in terms of what goes on here with you know it's plumbing and electrics but some of the stuff we've seen some of the renewable stuff the uh, the these battery storage systems for yeah. that's blown me away really that you know you can sort of harvest not only can you store and harvest energy from solar panels but if you get on the right electrical tariff you can also harvest energy at a cheaper part of your tariff throughout the night yeah. put it into your battery system so yeah definitely lots and lots to think about okay great stuff have a great uh, weekend guys so make sure you like comment and subscribe to Dal's um, YouTube absolute awesome YouTube and like comment and subscribe to us and then also hit the notification bell on Dal's and our YouTube channels and a massive again thank you to Obi-Wan thanks Martin all the best, all the best. Yeah, thank take, you, care, Martin. take care Cheers.